Hello everyone, in this video session we will be discussing about biogas. So first of all let us understand what does biogas means. When methane is produced by the fermentation of animal dung, the gaseous products are usually referred as biogas and the installation are called biogas plant or bioreactor. Biogas is a flammable mixture of 50 to 80 percent methane, 15 to 45 percent carbon dioxide, 5 percent water, some other traces of gases, etc. Biogas was first introduced in the world in 17th century. By the Nepal, it was first introduced in 1995. Biogas is produced by biomethanation and is self-regulating symbiotic microbial process operating under anaerobic condition. That means in the absence of oxygen and it functions at temperature around 300 degrees Celsius. Organisms involved are found naturally in ruminant manners. In such system, the animal dung is mixed with water and allowed to ferment in near anaerobic condition. Under ideal condition, 10 kg of dry organic matter can produce 3 meter cube of biogas which will provide 3 hours of cooking, 3 hours of lighting and 24 hours of refrigeration with suitable equipments. Let us discuss about biogas production. Biogas is a mixture of gases produced from the anaerobic digestion of waste materials such as animal and plant wastes. Biogas plant which uses only cow dung is called as cover gas plant. The gas is used as fuel for cooking or lighting. Microorganisms involved in biogas production are a group of different species which forms a consortium. Bacteria involved in the initial stages are not strictly anaerobic. So there are basically three stages in biogas production. They are solubilization, acidogenesis and methanogenesis. So let us discuss each one of them. Solubilization. In this stage, fats, cellulose and proteins are converted into soluble compounds. And in second stage, soluble compounds is converted into organic acid in the presence of acidic bacteria. And in the third stage, that is methanogenesis, organic acids are converted into methane, carbon dioxide and water in the presence of methanogenetic bacteria. Let us discuss about the advantages of biogas. It's a clean and renewable source of energy. Biogas is a renewable and clean source of energy like solar and wind power, which can help us to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels such as coal, oil and natural gas. Because these fossil fuels contribute to climate change, biogas actually reduces greenhouse gas emission by preventing additional fossil fuel burning. It is therefore a great way to reduce global climate change. Biodigesters do this by lowering methane emission, capturing the harmful gas and utilizing it as a fuel instead of letting it despite into the atmosphere without use. Furthermore, the process of biodigestion is natural, not requiring any outside energy for the generation process. And the organic material used in the production are renewable. The raw materials used in biogas are manure, food scraps and crop residue that will always be available, which makes biogas a highly sustainable option. Biogas also reduces soil and water pollution. It also prevents health problems and biodiversity loss. Due to growing population size, more trash is being discarded than even before. So biogas not only generates free energy for your home using just your waste, its second byproduct is rich organic natural fertilizer. This liquid digestive is a great alternative to chemical fertilizers. Women from developing countries who cook food using firewood directly comes in contact with harmful smoke coming out of burning wood. This might lead to various health problems and it can be minimized by using biogas. So biogas is the best alternative source for cooking. It is a simple and low-cost technology that encourages a circular economy. Small biodigester can be used right at home utilizing kitchen waste and animal manure. So biogas could be a good option for developing country like Nepal.